I'm going to pick up right where I left off in uh, the previous video and I have added uh, some extra labels as you can see to both ends of the uh, magnet rotor magnet groups and the reason I did this was to uh, show you that there is a um, turn over here this is a south facing up group of magnets and um, at the end of the group at, at either end uh, the polarization changes from south to uh, north at the wheel. The wheel is actually north polarized at that point. That's because the uh, north face of the magnets are against the wheel and this induces a uh, magnetism into the wheel and it comes out here as a as a north pole. Now you can see that if I align these south to south, north to north, this is a critical point and uh, there's a very strong repulsion effect here. Now if I let go of the wheel at this point, I'm, I'm, watch this now, I'm going to pull my hand straight down so you can see that I'm not attempting to spin the wheel in either direction, I'm simply letting go and the wheel is either going to go to the left or to the right. Now that depends on the alignment of the magnet. You can see this magnet uh, centered in that south on the uh, paper sheet that's centered in the south zone. Now when I pull my hand away if I'm well, just a tiny fraction to the left side of those marks it's going to, the wheel is going to want to go to the left. See that? Now if I'm to the right side of that margin it's going to want to go to the right. There's just a very small uh, area there of interaction. You can see, um, oops, excuse me. You can see that um, from over on this side, north is repelling north, south is repelling south. That's why it would go this way. Now, if I'm over on this angle, it's just the opposite. You see south repels south to the right and north repels north to the right. So there's a, a definite movement here and uh, it's caused by this repulsive, strong repulsive effect and that's why this is the starting point for a south facing up uh, array of magnets. And you'll see when I let go of the wheel, the rotor rotates to the left. And the magnets are doing all the work. Uh, I'm not doing anything, just letting go of the wheel. Now at this end of the magnet array, the south facing magnet array, you can see that uh, north is lined with south and south with north. See that? And uh, you notice that the uh, this magnet is aligned perfectly with the uh, the north background and um, what I can't really show you here because I can't get my um, ruler in close enough if I could you would see that uh, the space between between those two uh, background marks is exactly one inch uh, from sender to sender. It looks like it's a little wider than that, and that's because the ruler is closer. As I, you know, as I bring it closer, like this, if I could get in there, then it would uh, show you that it's exactly one inch. So there's another one inch factor. Surprising, isn't it? But you see uh, that the strongest point. Uh, at each pole on the stator magnet is uh, one inch apart. 
and that's why this magnet aligns where it does. The strong point isn't out at the end of the magnet, it's just a little bit inwards. Okay, so we have attraction here, we have a very strong attraction. And if the wheel started to rotate like this, you see it gets pulled right back again by the attraction. And eventually it would settle and stop right at that alignment that we're at now. Now, the other thing I showed you in the, in the last video was that if I start right here where we have that strong repulsive effect, let go. You see what happened? When I got to the second group, it was drawn in. It was drawn in because of the attraction factor. This is a north-facing group. So we have, uh, what we have here is south being pulled into the north. Uh, and um, north being pulled into the south of the uh, stator magnet. See, that's attraction. That's why that draws it in and moves it along. Now it did stop at the other end. And you may be wondering why it did that. Well, the reason for that is because a north-facing group, such as this, wants to rotate in the opposite direction of a, of a, of a um, south-facing group. In other words, it wants to rotate to the left. And I'll show you that. Once more, watch when I bring my hand down, straight down. See, now when I got to this point, it wanted to, uh, it wanted to draw in here because the north was uh, attracted to the south, and south was attracted to the north of the stator. See that? That's why it comes back again. So it's just that anti-rotational effect that slowed it down when it got to the uh, back end here because it didn't want to travel in that direction. You see that? I simply let go of it and it ran all the way through. Okay. Now the, um, the strong attraction again is at this end and the repulsion at this end, the left end, of a north-facing group. It's just the opposite. On the south-facing group, the attraction is at the left end, and the repulsion is at the right end. So to use this uh, type of uh, configuration with the, uh, with the stator magnet mounted in that direction, you, you really need to uh, have all same facing groups. Should be all south up or all north up. And the rotation would be, uh, this direction of rotation would be determined by the, uh, which side is facing up. Right? Now, as you saw in video number uh, two, I believe, uh, there was a very strong braking effect. And uh, that would be like what I'm going to show you here. Say that, say that this was a south-facing group. It isn't, but pretend that it is for the moment. And let's say we went into rotation here. We get to this point, and we get a little bit of a kick here. And that pushes, uh, that pushes along. And now you see what happened up here. It wanted to stop. It put the brakes on. Okay. Now I'm going to continue on with this uh, in the next video. These 10 minute breaks are pretty short, unfortunately. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video. That would be video number 12. Thank you.